to the Ann Donovan Classic, where tonight Old Dominion plays host to the number three team in women's college basketball. That's NC State. Hello, everyone. I'm Chip Tarkin along with Kim Aston, and Kim knows a lot about playing NC State. 37th meeting tonight, but you were a part of some of those a few years ago. Yeah, always great games against NC State. Yeah. Big homecoming tonight for Isaiah James for NC State, one of our players to watch, and she's an outstanding player. Isaiah is a great player out of Princess Anne High School. She won four state championships there. She is in the top 10 in the ACC in scoring, and she's averaging about 16 and a half points per game. Lately now for Old Dominion, one person has really come along. That's India Buford. She's playing awfully well. India can score in all places on the floor. She's averaging 12 points a game, two and a half steals. She's really been a difference maker for Old Dominion this year. of you two. When was that? Uh, that was after the win in the CAA championship, my senior season. Great stuff. We mentioned this is the Ann Donovan Classic and had a lot of great things. A series here. NC State leads at the last meeting in 2017. First meeting all the way back to 1979, and it's been a great meeting. This is the 37th contest between the two schools. This contest has always been an important one from Old Dominion. I'm glad to see NC State back on the schedule. All right, let's jump into Kim's Keys to the Game, sponsored by the Army National Guard. For NC State, they want to control the pace of the game. They like to play quick. They'll want to keep playing that way. On offense, they want to attack the rim. And defensively, they want to make Old Dominion take tough shots. For ODU, they need to find a way to take something away from their offensive weapons. They need to slow NC State down in transition, and they need to be aggressive on the offensive end. They need to take the ball strong to the basket and try to get to the free throw line. As we mentioned, a big night for Isaiah James, too, from Virginia Beach, played at Prince Anne. A lot of her fans were in the arena this evening, and we just showed you a few moments ago are warming up. All the Gold Dominion ladies are wearing Donovan on the back of their jerseys tonight. You've got to like that. James controls it off the tip for NC State. Starting lineup for the Wolfpack, Isaiah James, Zoe Brooks, Madison Hayes, Maddie Cox, and River Baldwin. They go into Baldwin. Fontana playing the defense. Kick back outside. James thought about the three, goes down the lane. Shot is up, no good. Old Dominion's co Buford. come out in their man-to-man -man defense, which they've been really successful at so far this year. You see the ODU lineup, Simone Cunningham, Kay Clark, Jordan McLaughlin, India Buford, and Brenda Fontana. Inside the Cunningham, up, and she connects in the first bucket of the game. There are some matchups on the floor that are really important for Old Dominion tonight. They start out the game with Kay Clark on James. And that should be a great matchup tonight. Kay is a wonderful defensive player, leads the CAA and excuse me, the Sun Belt in steals this season. And of course, James is a great offensive player. Clark got the foul him over to go with the basketball. Tried to go inside to Fontana, went off Baldwin's hand, and it will be Monarch basketball. Changing the lineup for NC State tonight. Mimi Collins had been starting. No reason why she's not starting tonight, just maybe a change of pace, but she had started every game thus far this year for the Wolfpack. McLaughlin. In and out. Good rebound that time by NC State. The Wolfpack Brooks. has a lot of versatility in the post, so they really can rotate players around. Hayes inside to Baldwin, her first score of the game, and we're even. Obviously a size advantage for 
NC State foul is called that time on the pick. Goes against Fontana. That was a late call on that moving screen. And coach, if you're playing a team that's got a little bit of a size advantage, what's Old Dominion going to need to do tonight to kind of counter that? They're going to have to play tough on ball defense and make sure they're helping on the backside. Off the James Miss, Cunningham with the rebound. Monarchs bring it the other direction. Third ranked team in the country, NC State, a perfect 11 0 start to begin the season. Fontana shot just off. Baldwin with the board. Here comes Brooks kicking it into the corner. That's a ball in the hole from Hayes. Madison Hayes with a three. First lead for NC State. NC State is tough to defend. They can score off the dribble. They can hit threes, and their post game is strong. Kate Clark down the lane. Went everywhere but down, and James with the rebound, and she'll bring it up the floor. Man-on-man defense. James with a nice fake that gets her first bucket of the game. NC State now with a five-point advantage. Almost a steal there that time by Hayes. Foul away from the ball, it looked like. It's going to go against Hayes. That'll be her first. And Lanetta Williams will come in for the Monarchs, replacing Cunningham. Williams gives the Monarchs a little bit more size and should help out a little defensively. Six foot three graduate, played at Memphis, so she's played in some big ball games. Might be an advantage getting her back in the game, and she's also left handed. Change it up a little bit on the pacing. Shot was blocked a little bit by Ball when comes up short, and the Wolfpack on the attack. Brooks, freshman, puts it up and in. Boy, she is an impressive looking freshman. She's had a strong start to the season for a freshman. Averaging 10.1 a game. That shot off by the mark. Brooks brings it up again. NC State has five folks scoring double figures and one that's right underneath. Shot is missed, the rebound up, and it's no good either. Old Dominion coming back, trying to get something going. Scored the first bucket, then it's been quiet. Nine straight points. Fontana, three. Nothing but the bottom of the basket. That was a huge bucket for the Monarchs. Brooks looking against McLaughlin, going inside the ball. When he had great position, good pass, good bucket. Baldwin also almost didn't recognize how wide open she was when she caught the basketball. Baldwin with four of the 11. Fontana says once, how about twice? How about twice? Another three for Brenda Fontana. We've said this a lot this season, but she really elevated her game over the summer. And she really has done well stepping back and hitting the three. Second foul against Kay Clark. We've got a timeout on the floor. Two Brenda Fontana threes has trimmed the lead to just three. We're back. Just a moment. Challenges are not new to me. But with ODU Global, receiving my college degree online is easy. Get connected today and start tackling your educational goals. We're back at the Chartway Arena in Norfolk, Virginia. Old Dominion playing host to that guy's team right there. That's Wes Moore, head coach in his 11th season. He's 
His overall record coaching is 811 and 250. I'd say that's pretty good. That's pretty strong. And Donovan Classic, you'll be hearing a lot about that during the night, but Westmore's done an outstanding job at NC State, really everywhere he's been. Kick out, Mimi Collins had just checked in wearing number two and coming off the bench for the first time this year. And maybe just getting a little anxious to do something with it. Mallory Collier also has checked in wearing number 42 for NC State. Mimi McAllister checks in. Nice stop. Couldn't get the ball to go in the hole, though. Tip to right. Nice play by Buford to knock it out of bounds. Okay, Clark having to sit now with two fouls, two early fouls. Typically, that spelled bad news for the Monarchs when she's on the bench in foul trouble. Hayes working the right side, kicks it back out. It's a three-point attempt off the back rim that time from James. It'll be North Carolina State basketball, known as NC State basketball. James underneath. Kicks it to Collier. Collier with Fontana all over, and Fontana gets the steal. Buford going to get a foul that time on James. Old Dominion is still trying to find the rhythm offensively. Officiating crew tonight of Ryan Durham, Kylie Galloway, and Roy Jackson. Say, clean up the floor just a tad so we can continue play. NC State is deceiving defensively. They're not putting a ton of pressure on the basketball, but they're so long and lengthy that they're able to cover a lot of ground. William's shot is no good. Hayes brings it up. NC State, a lot of options for folks to bring the ball up the floor. Inside the Collier. Collier has it knocked away on the floor by Buford. It's a jump ball possession error in the favor of Old Dominion. Coach Jones thought that was a foul on the floor, but it wasn't called. That was a great drop down on the post by Buford for, to get that tie up. And Orgy checks in for. Old Dominion, six foot two senior from California. Anytime post player puts a ball on the floor like that, guards are, are taught to drop down and swarm the basketball. Something you said earlier too, that Coach Jones might decide to go with some taller folks inside and she's got two of her tallest players right on the inside right now. Orgy with a screen, McLaughlin off the front rib. Hayes gets a lot of rebounds. She finds a way to get to the ball very often. Back to the inside, knocked away. It's trying to go into ball one, but good defense again by the Monarchs. That was great help on the backside by McLaughlin. Three-pointer in and out for McAllister. Good hustling rebound. Orgy puts it up and in. That was Great rebound by Orgy. She stuck with it and finished strong with the left hand. Lead is one for NC State. It had been as big as seven just a few moments ago. Collins with it. Get back inside the Baldwin. Baldwin, one of those averaging in double figures. Trying to make a move. Dumps it off the haste. Could be three seconds of the lane, and that's a call. The thing that I've liked about this Old Dominion team this year is against good teams, they seem to step up and play better basketball. Well, mind you again, Kay Clark, who's 10th in the country in steals, has missed a lot of this quarter with two quick fouls. Monarchs with a chance to take the lead. Ball was tipped away. 
That's where you get yourself in trouble offensively when you're a little smaller. Get too deep with the basketball and try to make an air pass over the, the defenders. Jones connects. She has four. The lead is now three. Three-point attempt, short, nice attempt to get it back up, and no good by McAllister. NC State spreading the floor. Spacing looks great. Kick back, really spreading the floor. Three-point attempt, long, Baldwin with it. She's gonna get the bucket. A lot of the Old Dominion fans hoping it was a charge against McLaughlin. Not called. Long three attempt. Great From hustle Buford. by McCoster. Yeah. Buford trying to get something going offensively. McLaughlin pass inside. Orgy put it up, couldn't get it in. Collins with the board. Brooks. Around to Collins to James, back to Brooks. Three-point attempt is nothing but the bottom of the basket. Wow. That was a great shot by the <laughs> freshman. McLaughlin had great defensive position on her. You can't do anything better than that defensively. That was she, just a great shot. No, she doesn't play like a freshman. She plays with no fear. Exactly. A three-point attempt. Orgy. Orgy's come in and made a big impact already. And a big three-point bucket from Orgy trims the lead back to five as we complete the first quarter. 18 to 13 as the final score at the end of the first quarter. So we'll take a break. Much more of the great challenge going on there tonight. The Ann Donovan Challenge. Well, much more about that. Much more game action when we come back. Welcome back to the Ann Donovan Classic. A couple of things we want you to know about Ann. She led Old Dominion to an AIAW national title in 1980. Two final four appearances, 82-83. She was in the WNBA in the Hall of Fame there. The Naismith Trophy for Player of the Year. First female to do that, 1983. All-time leading scorer and was an assistant coach here from 87 to 97 under Wendy Larry, who we hope to have us join at halftime. Back as we start the second quarter, inside, that's Baldwin with the left hand. Pretty good defense, shot rolled around, wouldn't go down. Old Dominion has done a great job in the post defensively. It's a big shot by Salat coming off the bench. Three-pointer by Halima Salat, and the lead is just two now. Foul going to be called. All the way on the outside, it is going to go against Orgy. That's our first. Threes are the way you can stay in a game like this. You've got to hit the threes if you're Old Dominion. And you need to take advantage of the easy little chip shots. Hayes, front rim, back rim, hauled in by Williams. A lot out front. Williams going to get called for the travel. We read a lot of those things with Ann Donovan. And there's a whole lot more to that. But just wanted to make sure that you know the stature of who Ann Donovan was. Not only did she accomplish all those things at Old Dominion, she also won two gold medals as a player in the Olympics and one as a head coach. Coaching one Delicia Milton Jones in the 2008 Olympics. Michaela Brown, 24, making her first appearance in the game and Fontana is checked back in wearing 55. There was a little size advantage there as Hayes was 
going up against McAllister. Hayes is listed at six foot. McAllister at five five. Little bit of a height advantage there. Ball kicked around on the floor. Jump ball is called. The possession arrow is in the favor of Old Dominion. Good job of hustling by Michaela Brown. He checked in just a few minutes ago. Michaela got hurt a few games ago at Old Dominion, so we see her tonight in the knee brace, which may be slowing her down a bit. It's a discussion, it seems like, of who the possession arrow was in the favor of, because now the official is over there having that discussion. They're still trying to... I think it's a shot clock they're looking at, or the game clock. Right now we look like we've got it straight. Shot clock finally working. Fontana trying for her third three, and this is Brenda Fontana three night, and the Monarchs have their first lead since 2-0 at 1918. Fontana with nine. Good pressure along the line here. Defensively, Old Dominion is working hard. Brooks hit for the charging foul. Old Dominion basketball, and the crowd is coming alive here. That was a great help on penetration by Slot. Zaya James checking back in. Well, if you're going to put off an upset against a third-ranked team in America, you've got to do everything you can right. Everything. And so far, Old Dominion's answering the call. McLaughlin out front, working against James. All the way across Fontana, a little more defense on her that time. She went inside with the pass. Brooks was there and said, nope, not going to happen. Hayes that, with the steal. That was a tough pass for Brown to catch. Hayes, the basket is called off. They're going to call her for an offensive foul. That's Coach, her second. Coach Moore is not in favor of that call. So Old Dominion with the basketball after getting the offensive foul against NC State. <laughs> Coach Moore is still having a chawing session with the official. Inside to Michaela Brown, working against Baldwin, has it just blocked right back. That's a tall task shooting over Baldwin. Lacey Steele in the game. She's got the ball right now. Another freshman in the game. James wanted the pick, got it. Gonna get the foul that time on Michaela Brown. Zoe Brooks back into the contest for Hayes. I think Coach Moore is still <laughs> saying some words to the official. I've seen a couple calls today that I thought should have gone the opposite way for both teams. Steele had a lot of hands trying to take the ball. She manages to hang on to it. The shot clock under five now. James down the lane. She's going to draw the foul. A lot hit with a foul. Old Dominion's been able to keep up with the intensity so far this first half. 
James to the line. And this is where NC State is awfully good as a team, 72%. James, very good shooter, only at 67, which is surprising to me. It's two, NC State regains the lead. McLaughlin all the way outside. Salat kicking it to Fontana. Just off the front rim. She was going for a 4-3 of the night. James hustling the other way. It's going to be an offensive foul on James. That was great footwork by Jordan McLaughlin. The close call, but Jordan did a great job staying in front of the basketball. Twenty nineteen. Third ranked team in the country here at Old Dominion tonight. Michaela Brown working against Baldwin. Tried it with the left hand twice. It's been blocked by Baldwin. Michaela can't go over top. She's got to find a way to go underneath. Brooks. Brown with a rebound. Here come the Monarchs. A lot more patience this time out of uh, Old Dominion for this game than some of the earlier games. Kim, a lot more patience. Yeah, and offensively, they've done a nice job of getting high percentage shots. Fontana shot off the rim. She thought she was fouled, but the foul was not called. Comes a freshman, Brooks. Stop, pop, it drops. Give her the three on that one. That's tough to defend. Brooks now with eight for NC State. I don't think you can keep that freshman on the bench a long time. She sat a little while, but boy, she's really taking advantage of getting a starting spot. Fontana off the mark that time. Hit her first three and has missed the second two attempts of a three-pointer. Collins working against Fontana. Gets it up. Tipped off Fontana. It'll be NC State basketball. Simone Cunningham will check back into the game for the Monarchs. We've got a timeout on the floor. We will take one as well. NC State, third-ranked team in the country, leading Old Dominion 23-19. This is Ann Donovan Classic from Chartway Arena in Norfolk. During the 2008 Olympics was a spectacular moment for me, knowing that I am at the very institution that she played at, got buckets in, and established her wonderful, <laughs> legendary career. I am now the head coach. It's such a prideful yeah, and an honorable yeah. position to be in. And That's being able to it. call her my Olympic coach, and now I'm the coach at the institution hey. she played for, it has That's all good. come full circle. Old Dominion with a steal. Buford, layup, won't go. Back to Williams. All around, it won't go down. Jump ball, possession in the favor of NC State. And if you couldn't tell, that was Delisha Milton Jones talking about playing for Ann Donovan when they won the Olympic gold medal back in 2008. A lot of connections with a lot of folks in this arena tonight. Four point lead as we approach the four minute mark of the first half. NC State with the lead and the basketball. Brooks, Collins. It'll be a foul away from the ball against Salat. And Salat is quickly getting into some foul trouble, too. That's her second. A big stat so far this evening is a rebound discrepancy. Right now, NC State has 20 rebounds to Old Dominion's nine. Freshman Lacey Steele goes to the free throw line, connects 75% free throw shooters. She's averaging 5.1 points a game, but starting to get more and more playing time as the year goes along. She hits her second one. 
averaging 15 minutes a game playing, so she's starting to get in that rotation. Six-point lead now for the Wolfpack. If you watch NC State's defense, they play pretty conservatively with their post players. So when the shot goes up by Old Dominion, they've got three kids on the floor, 6'3 or bigger, to rebound the basketball. And call a foul on Cunningham, and that looked like a lot of folks just kind of falling hither and thither and wind up with the call of the foul. And that'll send James back to the line. And for the first time this year, Jenny Nickham Wamsey checks into the game wearing number 23. She had been injured, but this is her first time to get in the contest. Six foot one junior. She adds nice size to the old Dominion lineup. James trying for her second. Comes away off on that with a strong rebound by Collins. And a foul is going to go bingo right against Buford. This is when you don't want to start getting fouls late in the first half. Freebies, I believe you call those. That was a bad foul by Old Dominion. James again averaging 16.4 points a game. As we've mentioned, she's from around these parts, Virginia Beach, Princess Anne, a lot of folks from Princess Anne here tonight. Like the last time that the line hit in the first one, missing the second one. McKim Wamsey did a better job on that free throw boxing out. Old Dominion gave up the offensive rebound the possession before. Three pointer from Buford. No good, Brooks with a rebound. Kicking it way down the floor. James, a nice job to haul it home, but couldn't get the shot to fall. Old Dominion hadn't scored in a while. They took a 19-18 lead at the 8-21 mark, but since then it has been all NC State until Williams hits that bucket. The first of the night. Shot is up and good from James. James is so smooth getting to the rim. Timeout is taken by Delisha Milton Jones. This old Dominion team has shot in the three ball better this season. So far tonight, the guards have had trouble getting on track, but the post players have kept them in the game by knocking down threes. We haven't talked a lot about this, but for Old Dominion, Kay Clark going out early in the first quarter with two fouls. And sometimes when Kay Clark's not on the floor, it's not as organized as other times. She really helps control and calm the team. Yeah, it's such a big loss for Old Dominion when she's not on the floor. Defensively, she's the glue on the team. Offensively, she has the potential to have big nights. Uh, so with her on the bench for so many minutes, uh, that's typically not a good sign for Old Dominion, but defensively, the rest of the team has come out and played really well so far. 9-0 run the second quarter. It's just wrapped up a few moments ago by NC State has given them this eight-point advantage here as we hit the 2.30 mark of the first half. The problem with a game like this, a couple lapses defensively can put you in the hole pretty quickly. And then we see there, small guards go into the rim. They get in trouble when they get too deep. McAllister was trying to get back to the middle with it, but too many red jerseys to get it back to anybody. Brooks against McLaughlin going inside to Baldwin. Baldwin with a nice fake, gets a nice bucket. Baldwin has eight, very that, quietly eight. That's just a great post move. Fake to the middle, step through, finish with her left hand. The lead now is 10. Old Dominion's got to get some points here before the half hits and get something on the board. It's just been a struggle offensively. 
in this second quarter. Too long of a stretch yeah. without hitting shots. McAllister's shot off the mark, too. Other side, long by Collins. Here comes McAllister. Collins got away with a walk on that shot. Buford. Three's just not going down. Tried that shot a second ago. Collins did not miss it this time. Three point, the lead explodes now to 13. This is a big possession for Old Dominion. NC State outscoring Old Dominion in this quarter, 16 to five right now. This is a huge possession. Williams with it, driving. Kicks it back out. McLaughlin with two on the shot clock. Back rim. Steal with it. Almost a steal, but not quite. And NC State can run this down a pretty good ways before they got to get a shot off. Ten on the shot clock. Brooks starting to move with the offense. Kicks it to the corner. The drive and the basket. What a play by Madison Hayes. Woo. That was a strong take to the rim. Got the defender off her feet and was able to get by her. Fontana Orgy check back in for Old Dominion. Hayes is a six foot senior from Chattanooga and she just does a lot of things right on offense and on defense. Misses a free throw, Fontana gets it. Seven seconds of the clock, McLaughlin driving down, down the lane, kicks it for the three. No good. Push back from Buford, would not fall. So an 18 to five run in the second quarter has given NC State a 36-21 lead at the break. Big plays, big threes, and just getting big things done. Our halftime activities will continue after we take this time out. This is Ann Donovan Classic. Stay with us. Halftime, and as we promised, Coach Wendy Larry is joining us. You don't win 608 games, and you don't win 19 conference championships and you're not named coach of the year if you haven't had a career that's unbelievable and you did just that and thanks for taking time to join us especially with it being the end donovan game it's just great to have you here and thanks for being here well thank you it's great to be here and to recognize the accomplishments of van donovan and what a Tremendous player, but more importantly, a tremendous person. And she was a great assistant coach with you. She was. And she was a very good head coach in her own right, too, not just at the collegiate level, but also at the professional level where she won some championships. So we, we were just really fortunate that Ann made a decision to come to Old Dominion. She was recruited for prop from probably 200 schools at the time, but she wanted to play behind Ing Nissen and learn from Ing, and gosh, did she. Yeah. <laughs> well, for Kim, this is as big a night as it is for you to be where right at, and Kim, and I know you're thrilled to have Coach Larry back with us. I've waited a long time to have her on the hot seat. <laughs> You put no. me on the air a couple of times, but that's all right. I, I, I'm, I'm glad I could be here, and I'm, I'm proud of, of, of Kim and of Shonda and what they're doing and giving back to this program. It's pretty incredible. You know, it's incredible to come back, I'm sure, for you just to come back and be able to sit up there and watch. You don't have to coach. You don't have to make any decisions. You can just enjoy the game. And Old Dominion is playing pretty well. Yeah, they started off like gangbusters, actually. And, you know, if a couple of those last shots drop, it's a different story. But they, they've played well defensively. I thought they've done some really nice things. James is a talent. She's really, really good. And 
um, they've just got to keep her under wrap. Yeah. How, the game has changed so much. It's so much better now in women's basketball. I know you're thrilled to see where the game has gone. Well, I love the physicality of the game. I, I love the, the speed, the, the strength. I, I think that's a tremendous thing that we've we are worked hard for a long time for that. Um, and and our officials have finally caught up. <laughs> The NC I, can, State, I can say that now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the NC State team looks a lot like some of your teams in the past, and it's hard to run an offense when you have a small group like Old Dominion has. So offensively, they've had a tough time getting off great shots, um, but the style of play that NC State brings is tough for a team like Old Dominion to play against. I think they've done a great job so far. Um, but what do you see that is a big difference in the game? Well, it's in the paint for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, NC State has good size, and it, it, they take advantage of that at will, truly. And um, Old Dominion has to work the inside out yeah. and, and have to rely on the, the three-point shot to fall. And unfortunately, in the last second 10 minutes, it didn't happen. Yeah, it's, it's funny, Shonda and I both, we haven't talked to each other before games, but we have both said that they need to play an inside out game with the basketball, and a lot of times they haven't done that. Um, today, I think they've tried to do that. Their bigs have been stepping out, luckily hitting threes. Yeah, it's spreading it out some. Yeah. And, and taking the bigs of NC State away from the basket and using their athleticism yeah. to, to get to the basket, which is great. Yeah. Well, I got a kick. Kim must have a fan club. They just walked in behind her and coming the up. The whole Mansman got... Suffolk <laughs> High School well, just showed up. Well, I say, yeah, my, my high school is here, they're, so they on, thought this was the now, proper so. time to come talk to me. <laughs> well. I got to be honest with you, Coach. It's just so great to see you. In the many years when, when CAA would come for Media Day, I always loved seeing you. And what a great ambassador you are, not only for the school, but for women's basketball. Thank you for coming on and joining us at halftime. Really well, appreciate it. Well, Chip, I appreciate that. And Merry Christmas to, to both of you and to everyone in Monarch Nation. There you go. Thanks so much. All right, we're going to take a break. Wendy Leary with us. Boy, it doesn't get any better than that. Take a break. We'll come back. Much more of our halftime activities are just ahead. NC State, third in the country, leading Old Dominion by a 36-21 count. And, Kim, let's take a look at the first half highlights. A lot of them, especially uh, late in that second quarter for NC State. Yeah, here we see NC State coming out, knocking down the three. Old Dominion started off the game knocking down their outside shots. Went a little cold in the second quarter. Brenda Fontana was huge, making three from the three-point line. Obviously, the size for NC State has bothered Old Dominion a little bit. 27 to 15 advantage on the boards. And NC State has just been tough. Uh, knocking down threes with a hand in the face. Fontana had three threes in the first half to lead over him. And, and Brooks from NC State, what a talent she is as a freshman. She's knocking down threes with Jordan McLaughlin right up on her. And that lady's been tough too. Uh, River Baldwin with eight, ten from James, and eight from Brooks, and that's where most of the scoring has come, and Old Dominion's led by Brenda Fontana with nine. NC so State scored 14 points in the paint to six from Old Dominion, and in the majority of Old Dominion's games this year, they've been able to outscore their opponents in the paint. So this is a tough task for Old Dominion tonight. I think they came out really hard defensively, um, they just haven't been able to knock down shots. As you see, shooting 23% from field goal. Uh, they're not really getting to the free throw line. Three pointers, their post players have made threes. I think their guards can come out in the second half and knock down some shots as they do have some great outside shooters. Big run in the second quarter, 18 to five. 
and the turnovers are 10 to 5. That's kind of hard to believe there, but 18 to 5 NC State had a run there, and that's how you pick up a 15 point lead going into the second half. What do you got to do if you're Old Dominion to get back in it, really? I think the real difference has been on the offensive glass for Old Dominion. They just have not been able to get more than one shot each possession. Uh, they really need to hit the glass hard. I know it makes it tough because then NC State wants to get out in transition, but they have to get more than one shot, and they're capable of doing that. Simone Cunningham can really rebound the basketball. Uh, if you look back at the keys of the game, NC State's been able to control the pace. Uh, they definitely have attacked the rim offensively, and they've made Old Dominion take shots that they probably want Old Dominion to take. So we start the second half. McLaughlin is in the game. Kate Clark is back in the game. That's Brenda Fontano with the basketball. Simone Cunningham also on the floor, as well as India Buford. It's nice to see Kay back in the game. River Baldwin with it to Zaya James. Going inside to Mimi Collins. Zoe Brooks also on the floor. The turnaround jumper is good. Madison Hayes, the other starter for the second half. And Baldwin continues to play. She now has 10. There's not much that Fontana can do with that shot. Baldwin is difficult to guard close to the basket. She really can move around that basket well. Kay Clark. Misses her second one after coming out, sitting out at most of the first half. And Kay's got to get something going to kind of help the offense for Old Dominion. James against McLaughlin. McLaughlin's played great on ball defense so far tonight. Fontana falls down and the shot. It's good from Brooks. Brooks now with 10. She's Three a folks in double figures already. Yeah, she's a confident player. You can tell when she catches the basketball, she doesn't have any fear. Buford down the lane. Can't get it to go in. Hit the out of bounds line and it'll be NC State basketball. Just looked like in that second quarter, NC State kind of found another gear and it just kind of was a shock hit to Old Dominion. It starts with knocking down shots for Old Dominion. And if they weren't able to knock down the shot, they weren't getting a second attempt. Collins, James, gonna be a travel call. A little too quick on the step. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get a shot of James' shoes, but she has 757 <laughs> written on those shoes. I kind of like that. 757 is area code here in this area. So she the has, 757, as it's known. Yeah, Clark she has custom lane. Adidas. <laughs> Comes NC State again. And Cunningham is fronting Baldwin in the post. Stop and pop back. And a rebound chasing it down. And look at that basket by James. Good gracious. And see, that's what Old Dominion can't do. James missed the three-point shot, but then Old Dominion missed the box out, and they were able to get a second attempt. Fontana's shot is long. Cunningham with the rebound. Kay Clark again. Kay's trying to get back on track after missing a lot of the first half. Nice pass, my goodness. Brooks give her the pass, the bucket from Madison Hayes. She has seven. Clark to the hole, puts it up and in. K needed that. Old Dominion needed that. First okay, point came up with a steal. steal there just yep. by applying pressure in the backcourt. McLaughlin missed two. She normally doesn't miss. And that won't hurt Clark in her 
tenth spot in the country for steals. That's what she can do, just so easily. Buford, nice fake, trying to go to the basket, gets a foul against River Baldwin. That's her first. That was a good take by Buford. She was able to pick up that foul. I thought she was going to reverse it to protect the basketball, but she still was able to draw the foul. Basket by Kay Clark was the first point for Old Dominion in the second half. Hits two. Buford, 83% from the free throw line. Pressure this time, but James kind of sneaks away. Easy and bound up and over the defender, going to Baldwin, kicks it back out. Bingo for Mimi Collins. That's what you call inside out basketball. You can't play it much better than that. Good pass inside. Cunningham had yeah. the layup on the left side of the rim, but turned back to the yeah. middle. Simone tried to turn and it didn't work. What a spin move by Brooks. Cunningham wins the battle of the ball on that one. That's what Cunningham brings to the floor. Stolen away. James again, got a big call with the walk again. She's so quick that she moves and sometimes more than one foot's moving. Mm -hmm. McLaughlin back in. Clark take a seat. Orgy, who played good in the first half, is back on the floor as well. Monarchs with the basketball. Inbounds. Orgy working against Baldwin up under Baldwin again. Boy, she's got like five or six blocks today. Traveling again. This time it's on Brooks and Coach Moore again, not happy. Just a little pressure Old Dominion's been able to, to apply full courts, caused some problems so far for NC State. Well, like you said, changing it up sometimes works. Yeah, they don't have a true point guard on the floor with Rivers out of the game. McLaughlin shot off the mark. Might have hurried that shot just a little bit. Had a lot more time than that with nobody in front of her. It looks like the shot's coming off Jordan's hand. A little wonky. NC State pushing it. Tell you what, though, Brooks is some kind of freshman. We both have said that all night. Trying to go inside, and Orgy's going to get hit with a foul. They were trying to go to Baldwin. An orgy hit. A lot of banging going on down there in the post. Brooks had good position on the block. Now you saw it again. Inbounds pass, Baldwin. She has 12. Well. McLaughlin. Yes. That look right coming off Jordan's hand. It's her first bucket of the night, if you can believe that. And she has a great mid-range game. To get Old Dominion back in it, McLaughlin's going to have to start hitting a lot of those. Smart by NC State right now. Just slow the ball down, slow the game down. The pass goes to Baldwin, who hits yet another one. Good pass from Brooks. So we've got a break in the action. NC State is really showing you why they're ranked number three in the country. We're back in a few moments. Stay with us. 
We're back at Chartway Arena, and you've got a shot here of Isaiah James Shoes. You see Virginia Beach and 757 on her custom Adidas. Now, this is a family up in this area, too. In fact, uh, they were telling us before the game that Isaiah had to beg, borrow, and steal <laughs> for all the rest of her teammates to get enough tickets to get everybody in, and she still needed more tickets. Yeah, I'm assuming each uh, player still gets four tickets, so mm -hmm. she took the tickets of every <laughs> player on the team. <laughs> And I'm sure they all gave it to her without any problem. But yes. still, we're, we're using that. You know, you take all you can. Buford down the lane, kicks it for the three-pointer. Too long, <laughs> coming off the hand of McAllister. Back the other side. That one goes in and out for Hayes. Three-pointer from Buford is good. It's her first three of the night. She had 15 Sunday against VCU. McAllister and Buford can get hot from three-point range. This is the time Old Dominion needs it. Down 21. You got to get on the horse right now. Went inside to Baldwin. Had it knocked away, but back inside, Hayes had a height advantage. They saw it, she that, went up and gets the foul. Yeah, that's just a smart play by Hayes. You see her cut back door. She knows she has McAllister defending her, and that's just a tough task for McAllister. Here it is again, Coach. Yeah, you can't do a lot with that if you're McAllister. She could complete the three-point play. And she does. McLaughlin short. Baldwin with a tip. Ball bounced around. Collins away with it. James thought about the three. Drops it for Collins. Nope. Okay, Clark back in the game. McLaughlin, Fontana, three threes in the first. That's her first and the second. That puts her into double figures with 12. It would be interesting to see how NC State would defend Old Dominion if Old Dominion spread five out on the three-point line. That's a good thought, Coach. I got to agree with you on that one. Well, both post players Old Dominion has on the floor have hit threes tonight. So if they can knock down a three, spread them out, and see if the post come out and play, it would open up lanes potentially to the basket for the guards. Williams checks in for Orgy. We told you about the way that the North Carolina State spreads the offense. Four folks in double figures, and the fifth one has eight. Yeah, they share the ball well. As does Old Dominion. Williams couldn't get a handle on the pass. And Brooks does. Look at that one-handed. Mm, mm, mm. Brooks now with 12. Kind of an errant pad to start with. I don't think Kay Clark knew it was coming from McLaughlin. Simone Cunningham to check back in. Williams will check out. And Maddie Cox, another one of those six freshmen on this team for NC State. Six foot two freshman from Flower Mound, Texas. Fontana trying to pick, having a hard time with everybody else. Knocked out of bounds. It was off Old Dominion last. It'll be Wolfpack basketball. A little too much dribbling. Under two minutes to go in the third. NC State's taking time, running some time off before the shot. There's another three. Madison Hayes now 
with 11, and you have five folks fully in double figures. That is impressive. Yeah, and they have five on their team that average double figures. One thing we haven't said a lot about tonight is arguably the best player or one of the two best players on the team has been out the last three games for NC State and Sanaya Rivers. And when she gets healthy, look out. Draw yeah, she had the foul. Sanaya Rivers started the season with 33 points against UConn. Was averaging 13.7 before the injury, but that injury has opened the door for Zoe Brooks to come in and really play. So that gives NC State more options going forward because after tonight, guess what? The season gets real for the Wolf Pack. They'll be on the road on the 31st of December at Virginia to play the Cavaliers to begin their ACC quest. Another free throw connected by James. About two. Old Dominion still trying to just find some kind of offense, but well, NC State's turned up the defense as well, too. Joy Campbell in the game wearing zero. Down the lane, going to be a foul called. That's going to go against Lacey Steele, who checked into the game. The foul was against Mimi McAllister. And Joy Campbell will inbound. Campbell, left free throw. Nope. Good hustle by Fontana. That's what Old Dominion needs to do is hit the offensive glass. It's one of the few times tonight that's happened. From behind, Brooks knocks it out of Fontana's hand and goes the length of the court, draws a foul on the other end. I got to be honest, Coach. Zoe Brooks has is, is, is impressed me all night long. Offensively, at least in this game, you can't see too many weaknesses in her game. She has a good mid-range game. She mm -hmm. takes the ball to the basket hard. She's shifty with the basketball, and she knocks down threes. Plays a little defense, too. I mean, she's pretty complete for a freshman. Clock winding down on the quarter. Campbell goes in. They're going to call a charging foul against Joy Campbell. 3.2 seconds before the third quarter is done. Not even going to get a good shot at it. How about half court? Cox is off the mark. Another big quarter for NC State if they have expanded the lead to 62 to 33. We will be back with the final 10 of the Ann Donovan Classic. Stay with us. The Ann Donovan Classic, so glad that you're here with us as we start the fourth quarter. Coming up, upcoming games, Old Dominion will be at South Alabama on the 30th. That's a 2 p.m. ESPN Plus contest. And as we told you, NC State goes on the road on the 31st to play the Virginia Cavaliers. You can tell it's bad sweater night tonight. Coach, we didn't put on any bad sweaters. And it's probably a good idea. NC State ranked third in the country, and you've got a real good dose of why they are. Old Dominion has fought hard, but just not enough firepower in the tank tonight. That little hezzy dribble by James is why she can get to the rim so well. Foul away from the ball. I think that's going to go against Collier, and it does. I'll give you a stat. You're going to love this. Of those five folks we were talking about in double figures, they have 60 of the 62 points for NC State. Kay Clark in and out. 
So it's Baldwin, James, Hayes, Brooks, and Collins. 60 of the 62. James running it out front. Over in the corner, shot is connected again by Hayes. That was a little bit too easy, that possession for NC State. Hayes now with 14. Shares the team lead with James. Whistle, foul called. That's gonna go against Lacey Steele. Well, they changed it and said it was Collier, even though it's steel that's fallen all over. I'm not yeah. sure about that one either. <laughs> Some of the calls have been a little questionable tonight. That one probably should have been a little easier with a number there, but yeah, it's okay. She got fouled, but she, I believe she was pushed by beh from behind. Yep. Williams. Turn around the board. That did everything but go down. Kay Clark going to get a steal, but a foul instead. James went down hard, but getting up okay. That's her third foul. But James, when she comes out, she comes out in a hurry trying to break on the basketball. She is really hustling to get down the floor. Steal out front. James kicked into Maddie Cox. Another one of those freshmen. James with a wild shot, but she threw it up just because she knew she was getting the foul. And it goes against McCollister. NC State has so many weapons on the floor. If you take away the post game, they kick it out for the three. If you get up close and defend the ball hard, you're liable to get beat off the dribble. James with another free throw complete. Make it two. I believe NC State has shot 19 free throws tonight, and Old Dominion has shot two. Tough to win with that. Joy Campbell. Buford for a long three. Front rim. Hayes with it. Had it knocked away, but held on to it. Gets it to steal. Foul inside against Williams as Collier was trying to get position. Halima Salat checking in for McAllister. James. Collier with a rebound. Stepped on the line. One of the things that I felt like would be important for Old Dominion tonight was to go hard offensively and challenge NC State. And you can tell by them having shot two free throws so far this game, they've had a tough time doing that. In their defense, NC State is so much bigger that there have been times they've challenged them and they just had their shots blocked by NC State's post players. Coach Moore just took uh, Zaya James out of the game in the crowd, pulling for her family, friends, and rest of the NC State folks, giving her a nice, nice round of applause. She's had a very good game at home. Turn around, jumper off the mark for Cox. She may not be back. James may be done for the night. I probably would not risk an injury in a game like this at this point. Salat managed to get back at a hand on it. Buford shot, back rim, another foul on Williams. Williams. 
McAllister checks in, as does Michaela Brown, and there she is along the bench there. Zaya James, and I think she's fairly happy with her night. Old Dominion sitting in a 2-3. Not a bad idea to change it up a little bit. Steal for three. Well, but that's the problem when you play a zone. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Shooters live to see a zone. Yep. Well, I was trying to do that change up idea. Just change it up a minute. They recognized mm -hmm. it very quickly. NC State is a very good basketball team. McAllister in the land of the Giants can't get anything done. Michaela Brown's attempt knocked down too, and NC State has it again. Coach, you've been around a lot of good basketball here at Old Dominion and across women's basketball. How do you, how good do you think this NC State team really is? I think they're pretty good. Yeah, I think uh, top three ranking is well deserved at mm -hmm. this point. And the game that we've seen tonight, just remember that Zaniah Rivers is on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Think about that for just a moment. As we told you, Rivers hadn't played the last three games. She's averaging 13.7 when she's playing and playing 29 minutes a game. Yeah, R Rivers started her career at South Carolina and played a season before transferring to NC State. Uh, as we said earlier, she started off this year with 33 points against UConn. I think they're a really good basketball team. And a win tonight would be just the fifth time in 50 years mm -hmm. of history for basketball at NC State for the ladies to be unbeaten in the non-conference schedule before the tournament. Well, as I call it, start you start the tournament now when you get into conference play. I mean, you're really setting yourself up. I'm trying to figure out what's going on at this point. A technical yeah. was called. And I'm not sure who it was called on or what was called on it, but it looks like it might have been against either Coach Jones or the bench or somebody on the floor, but Coach Jones is having a lot of discussion with the official over there. The technical foul may have been on Coach Jones. Cox misses the first one. Hits a second. Well, the official that made the call was way under the basket when it was made. So, interesting tech. Three point. Hayes with another one. NC State's putting the ball inside and the, kicking it out for that easy three-point shot. Pass inside. Michaela Brown trying like crazy to get it up. Kind of a half-hook shot, throwing it up, gets the foul by Collier. And when Michaela's gotten in tonight, she has really struggled to get the ball up because the defense is just so strong. She's had a tough time around the rim. Katie Penaweta checks in from Vancouver, six foot two junior, as that will probably be the night for Madison Hayes checking out. <laughs> Kayla hits the first one. And the second. Well, Dominion is four for four from the free throw line tonight. You know, you can play some of the starters a little bit longer tonight. And I think that's what Coach Moore did because you've got 11 days really before you play that first conference game. And now you've got a lot of young folks on the floor. Yeah, and he's given them a nice long break around Christmas time. They're not coming back after this game until the 27th, I believe. 
We got a break in the action, so we'll take a timeout as well. We'll come back. 457 remaining in our contest. We're back at the Ann Donovan Classic, and the women are playing right now, but the men also at the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic, Diamond Head in Honolulu, Hawaii. Look at those teams. Whew, that's a lot of good teams to be. They didn't invite us. We could have done that, the game here from there, I think. That's a nice way for the men to spend their uh, <laughs> holiday break. Is it ever? <laughs> I would be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to the Nansman Suffolk Academy basketball team here tonight since that's my daytime job. <laughs> Lacey still hits two, four freshmen and one who is not for NC State. How about that? And they look really good. You know, Old Dominion came out and I thought they did a great job defensively. They were trying to take away the post play but NC State is just so strong that they were able to find other ways to score. And it, it's just been a tough night for Old Dominion. So the only non-freshman has the basketball. That's Katie Penaweta. The rest on the floor for NC State are freshmen. Foul's going to be called that time. Against fourth foul included with that against Mimi McAllister. Steele back to the free throw line and she hit two the first. I wouldn't be shocked if she hits two more with that shooting. Steele and McAllister have traded fouls at both ends of the floor a couple <laughs> times tonight. Men play in. I think they had a game at 5 o'clock today, so that's a few hours from now. I may be wrong with the exact start time in that tournament out there. You, you know, you may start a little late anyway. McLaughlin with a shot. A from great pull up by Jordan. I wish them well in that three-day tournament. Coach Jeff Jones' team. Another connection by Lacey Steele. Steel now in double figures too, so six Wolfpack players are in double figures. Brown, turn around, left hand. Boy, that can roll all the way around before it went in, but Michaela Brown, she needed that. It had been a while, she tried to get a lot of shots up, and she finally got one to go. She did, she's playing against someone that's closer to her height, and she was able to go by her and finish. Gets the foul there as Mallory Collier got the rebound and put it back up. Collier, a freshman from Tennessee, six foot three. Wamsey back into the game. First game we've seen her play all year, and it's just good to have her on the court. Yeah, we weren't sure if she was going to play or not mm -hmm. this season because we hadn't seen any activity from her. She's a, she can be a big help going into conference play. 6'1 junior who's had some playing experience, so she could be a big help down the road. Yeah, she had great stats coming out of junior college. McAllister trying to line folks up. Driving the left side, kicks it back out. Salah has it rejected. Ball is kicked back. Penaweta. Can't get her to go in. Cox made the uh, initial steal and then almost another quick bucket. Salat with a fake. McLaughlin stepped on the line, on the sideline and shot no good. So now Lizzie Williamson from Australia, a six foot five graduate has checked in wearing number 15. And at that point, that's that's everybody on the bench. But look at here. We didn't think that Isaiah James would come back in the game, but she is going to come in with 239 to go. 
Looked like they gave her the curtain call. She must have asked to come back <laughs> in. I think she'll probably play 30 seconds or so and he'll get her out to an ovation. And she's a long way from the ball too. Unless she gets wide open like that. Short. Orgy with a rebound. Ahead, kicked across. Orgy with three. That's her three. second three of the <laughs> night. You know what? It's you're right. If if those inside can get outside, you don't know what might happen. Time out is taken by NC State. We'll take a break as well. And there's the curtain call you were talking about for Isaiah James. We're back with the final 202. Stay with us. is the score in attendance tonight. Look at that number, 38-74. Boy, that's a great number for the game tonight. Thank everybody for coming out and being a part of it. It looks like there are a lot more NC State fans in the building than there really are. Tonight was ugly Christmas sweater night at Old Dominion. <laughs> so we mentioned Lizzie Williamson. She comes in and she gets a bucket. Wamsey trying to do something. She looks strong going to the basket there, gets the foul. Six players in double figures for NC State tonight. And by 17 with Madison Hayes, Isaiah James had 16, 12 for River Baldwin, 13 for Zoe Brooks, Mimi Collins with 10, and Lacey Steele, 11. And NC State has shot over 50% from the three-point line. Tough to beat when you shoot the ball that well. Wamsey connects on her first free throw. Really looking forward to seeing what she can do as the team start into conference play. I think she's going to be a good addition for the Monarchs. Starting to wind it down with the clock as we hit 130. Went back inside trying to go to Williamson again. And Good steal by the Monarch defense. You see Old Dominion in the throwback jerseys tonight mm -hmm. in recognition of the Ann Donovan Classic. The only thing that's wrong on the jersey is it should say Lady Monarchs. Correct, yeah. Evie Nikolova is also in the game. Williamson drives and draws the foul. Back of every jersey, it says Donovan, if you didn't notice it earlier in the game. Why and you notice no one on Old, Old Dominion's team wears number 22, which was Donovan's number. While we got a minute with free throws, I want to give a special shout out to our broadcast crew tonight, Daniel White, Andrew Hughes, Boise Hayes, those two guys kind of direct and produce everything for us. Alan Beaver, Paul Briggs, Chris Stansel, Matthew Judkins, Chris Ross, and Vinu Dasari. Thank you all so much for a great job this evening. Kim and I appreciate all your help. As those who are watching, we wanted to thank you tonight. Second one is good, 84-45, as we hit the one-minute mark in the contest. Think if you would have told Old Dominion fans that you could be eight and two the first 10 as Nikolova hits a three, that's her specialty. I think folks would have been happy with that, don't you? Yeah, I think so. They've gotten off to a great start this year. I love the fact that they're playing NC State. This was a staple on the schedule uh, back in the glory days of Old Dominion. Penna went over the three and as she shot it, she thought it was too hard, but then it just off the backboard and went in. Shouldn't count unless you call it. <laughs> well, somebody's going to call but that good. I Nicola. think they're going to count it. Yeah, almost, but not quite. Fake, try it again. Long again. Chase down. Orgy going to the poop. Nice Strong. move. Yes, nice Good finish bucket. with her left hand. Hard work by Orgy to get come up with that offensive rebound. We're clicking down to the final as 
NC State is going to go to 12 and 0. And as we told you, just the fifth time in the 50 year history of the program to start out that way. They win it 87 to 50. Kim, final comments. Well, I think everybody got their money's worth tonight. This NC State team is for real, and it'll be exciting for their fans to see what they can do this season. For Old Dominion, they came out hard. They were executing their game plan, but the NC State team was just a little too much for them tonight. No surprise that this team is unbeaten so far. They've got a great chance, I think, to go a long way. They will open the ACC schedule on the 31st at Virginia. Old Dominion is off to the 30th, and the first game in the Sun Belt is at South Alabama, and then we're off and racing. And as we said, Kim, I really believe if you'd ask any of the fans and even Coach Milton Jones, if you were eight and two right now, you'd be pretty happy with it. Yeah, they've really gotten off to a great start. Old Dominion has a chance to have a special season. I think they'll rebound from this game nicely and be ready for South Alabama. Brenda Fontana led the Monarchs tonight with 12 points. She was the only one who in double figures and four of nine and in draining some threes. So really shooting the ball well. Six folks in double figures for NC State led by the 17 of Madison Hayes and quite a homecoming from Rosiah James tonight with 16. So that's going to wrap us up from Norfolk this evening, the Ann Donovan Classic. And once again, what a great opportunity to have Wendy Larry with us at halftime and just a wonderful atmosphere here. Kim, always great to be with you. Thank you so much, Kim Aston, one of the classic players here at Old Dominion in the history of ODU Lady Monarch basketball as it once was. Well, thank you, Chip. This was a fun game tonight, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the Old Dominion bounces back. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. The final once again, 87 to 50, NC State over Old Dominion. Thanks for being with us. For Kim Aston, I'm Chip Tarkin, and thanks for being with us again. So long, everybody. Good night.